Alright, so we back with another video today. We got y'all boys with a very special video. Today we're gonna be giving y'all the best 99 overall method in NBA 2K23. And we're gonna be giving y'all the method for everything. We're gonna give y'all the method for finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defensive all in one video. We're not gonna be giving y'all the split up videos no more on the main. I may do them on the backup. I'm definitely gonna be doing like the the categories for bad set of them they're gonna be giving y'all the best badges but for the methods if you guys want me to keep doing that on the backup just let me know now still one more tutorial that we haven't did we already get y'all the contact if you guys want me to do the dribble tutorial just like the video it's just that simple now i'm gonna put some little hint tidbits at the end for the people that want to stay for the full video so if you guys want to stay to the end and watch all the secret stuff that i got there that we've tested just watch to the end but yeah that's gonna be pretty much the video if you guys want more like this like the video but without further ado let's hop into it so off the rip wasting no time we're gonna hop straight into it so when it comes to the settings you got to get these settings perfectly now when it comes to dunking there's gonna be certain things that you have to figure out do you want to use dunk meter do you want to use these other settings if you guys want to get even more in detail on that just go watch the finishing because i went over like how to use the dunk meter other things that you can use for like flashy dunks rim hangs and all that different type of stuff i've gotten now used to using the dunk meter but if you're not used to it still there are stuff in that video that you can pretty much take and use it here but when it comes to this you're gonna want to figure out the best game difficulty to get the most xp now me personally if you want to reach it faster get most xp possible hall of fame but if you're not good enough or you want to have something a little lower i guess i don't know um you can just go with lower but it does make a significant difference i was able to get 130k in a game no glitch second game starting on my 6-9 build with 90k playmaking so i'm telling y'all if y'all use this method you're going to want to put this to the highest difficulty possible that you can actually do stuff on if you can't do some on hall of fame do stuff on hall of fame don't put it on hall of fame you can't do stuff on superstar don't put it there do it based off what's perfect for you it's that simple all right so when it comes to the method to reach 99 fastest way possible in my opinion the best way is throwing lobs now what i do is i just call for a screen and if somebody if it's two people on my left i want to go towards the right if it's two people on my right i want to go towards the left so if i'm going towards the left i'm gonna tell them to set the screen on my left if i want to go right i'm gonna tell them to set the screen on my right now what's easier probably is going to like the hash and then calling for a screen and then doing from there just run straight to like the corner and then he'll go to the rim but i had 40 plus lobs in one game doing the other method and now this year there's literally no cap to how much you can get now in previous years there would be like a certain amount of lobs that you want to target and stop throwing lobs because you wouldn't get as many as you would for the previous it would just cap out and then you would get like marginally less each one that you threw so there's no nothing like that this year in my experience it's just give you the same amount of xp for every single thing now another thing that happens this year is it's not just you getting assists when you're doing playmaking so even if you just do a pass even if it's a turnover you get something for that now and that's a w they changed a lot of things when it comes to this my point system they changed a lot of stuff when it comes to the uh team grade system and all that now if you want going for 99 i'm gonna be honest with you if you don't know this 95 to 99 has been taken out the game i'm not 100 sure if that's out of current gen but i'm pretty sure it's out of current gen as well i seen some people asking me about the ground from 95 to 99 it is significantly tougher once you do hit 95, I will say that, but I'm going to be honest. It's still going to be, if you're getting and doing this method, you're going to get as much as possible. Now, in my opinion, throwing lobs is the easiest. Throwing flashies is up there too, but I would say throwing lobs is the easiest. Now, if you can get contact dunks, that's up there too, but you're not getting as much at all. I would say throwing lobs is the easiest. But if you're going for contact dunks, you want to get you a go-to move that you can get around the defender and keep people in the paint so that you can have somebody to dunk on. That's one. Go for lobs. If you're not really a person that can create for yourself, just go for lobs. That's another one. And when it comes to going for lobs, you can do it on fast break. So what I do on my slasher on a fast break, I throw a lot to myself. In a half-court setting, I'm going for a contact dunk. It's pretty much just that simple for the finishing. For defense, pretty much all you got to do for defense is just get steals and blocks. What I do is get as many bump steals as possible. But again, when it comes to defense, like I said, in the defensive method, you have to play based off your play style. A lot of people this year either don't have steal or they don't have block. Like a lot of big men, they don't have steal. In my opinion, if you're a big man, you will be better off probably just playing like a wreck. I'm going to be honest. You get a lot of XP this year playing wreck this year, especially if you're big. So if you're big, just play wreck. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. Even if you don't have a five, you can really go in there and get smashed and have a lot of XP if you're actually a good big. Because you're going to get rebounds. You're going to get a lot of shot contests. A lot of that stuff is going to happen. I'm just letting y'all know that. But yeah, get steals, get blocks, get rebounds. As you're big, you can get a lot of different things that's miscellaneous like shot contests. If you bump into people, you play good defense. All different type of things when you're, you're big. Now, it's a lot of stuff like that for finishing and playmaking as well. So, I was checking my analytics. Even with 100k, we still have 80% of you guys not subscribed. I don't know what else I got to do. Now, if you guys want to get more in touch with me, you can join the Discord. But how you watching my videos and not subscribe? Subscribe! It's that simple. Now, when it comes to shooting, shooting is kind of a little bit more complicated because it's based off if you're making or missing said shots. So if you're missing too many shots, you're not gonna get as much XP for shooting. But if you're making your shots, you're gonna be perfectly fine and be able to go crazy for the entire game. Now, there's been games where I have missed 20 shots and still get a lot. But there's games where I missed twice and I got 50K XP for shooting. So it's really just depending on you and what you're doing. Now, all this stuff, is literally based off your build. Some builds aren't gonna be able to throw lobs as easy as others. I was doing the lob thing with just a 70 pass accuracy, needle threader, and uh, special delivery. So, you're gonna be able to do that lob thing with any build in my opinion. I feel like throwing lobs in 2K23 is the by far best way to get your my points up, get your overall up, get as many badge points as possible in that one game i probably i don't know how many badge points i think i went from like 11 to 17 which is my max but if i wanted to go if i was able to go past 17 i probably would have been able to get 20 like i said i got 90k playmaking in one game no badge glitch now there is a badge glitch where you can double up anything from any game i believe that still works in my career so if you guys want to do that by all means, do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I'll say is I don't advise of doing glitches because you do have a chance of getting banned. So I just want to make sure that's known that if you do a glitch, you have a chance of getting banned. It's just really that simple. So when it comes to these methods to help you, it really just depends on your play style. Even if you're big and going for defense, you have to do certain things, go for certain things. Like if you're locked, I would say go for more steals. If you're big, go for rebounds and blocks. If you're locked that has block on yours, you can even go for blocks. If you're a slasher, you're going to go for contact dunks, catch lobs. If you're a shooter, you're going to go for as many limitless range shots, as many phases as possible. But at the same time, you want to do what's comfortable for you because you don't want to miss. If you miss, the more you miss, the less XP you get. It's just that simple. Even if you have 18, if you have pretty much, if you have 15 made threes with like one miss or two misses in comparison to like 30 threes with like 15 misses, you're going to get less than that game where you have 15 threes. It's a fact. It's a fact. So, yeah, y'all want to make sure that y'all pay attention to everything that y'all doing depending on your build. And that stuff is just truly important. Now, when it comes to the badge that helps you uh, for slash, we're going to go down the list for slashers, people that's going for the finishing that need the finishing to get their xp because they can't i guess throw lobs i would throw lobs but even if i was a slasher but yeah um you want to put on obviously badge like posterizer area wizard those are probably the two best most important badges i'm gonna try to give y'all two for each category area wizard if you don't know it's gonna be the badge to pretty much catch lobs a lot better but it also helps you get like officer rebounds and go back up with it but yeah posterizer is kind of self-explanatory um if you're a big rise up because rise up is posterizer for standing dunks so that's a really good badge for bigs. Um, another thing that I was using, I was using bat down punishing because I have a lot of strength on my big or my build. So I could just bat down people and just go to the goal. It was very easy to get points doing that as well. So yeah. Um, acrobatic lips also help you. So if you want to go with acrobat, you can do that as well. So there's your finisher as well. Limitless takeoff as well. These are all great badges to help you get badges. But the main ones I would say is posterizer, rise up, or area wizard. Now when it comes to shooting badges, it's pretty simple. In my opinion, from my experience, the first badge I threw on was Green Machine that made a significant help. Now, you got to understand, you got to have these first 10. So, I would say Volume Shooter and Green Machine are the two best badges to do when it comes to going for badges, shooting badges. Because the more you shoot on, with Volume Shooter, the more chance you have of making that next shot. And the make percentage is what makes your green window bigger. Again, with Green Machine, that's going to be making it a lot easier to get greens. You're going to see a significant difference. Now, when it actually comes to like badge that'll help you with the main things that get you the most badges like limitless range threes 
get you a lot more badge than just on the line three. So obviously a badge like Limitless Range will help you shoot from deeper. Now you can shoot from Limitless Range without Limitless Range badge. But as I've said multiple times in videos and I was shooting from pretty deep without Limitless Range before I even had Limitless Range. But Limitless Range will allow you to shoot from even deeper and make it a lot comfortable to shoot from range. So that's a very good badge. Agent 3s is another good badge to help you shoot phase and stuff like that. But apparently um, Agent 3s isn't just that. It's like... It's kind of like rhythm shooter, stop and go, stop and pop, I think it's called, and Circus 3 is all in one badge, apparently. I don't know if that's 100% sure still. A lot of people in my badge video was coming in that, but I'm going to take their word for it. They say it's activated on stuff like that, but it's been badge in the past that activate on certain stuff, and it actually didn't do anything. It's been badge in the past that don't activate it on certain things, and it still was, act it was, still was working. So... I'm not 100% sure if we can trust that 100% right now, but if it, either way, for phase, we know it works for phase, so yeah, it's gonna help you hit a lot more phase. So for shooting, that's gonna help you a lot. Now when it comes to playmaking, it's really, really simple what you need to put on. In my opinion, the best one, hands down, is special delivery. That's gonna help you a tremendous amount. Honestly, if you don't, if you wanna just play my career before you go to the park and get all your badges, you don't even need to worry about putting on quick first step first. Just throw on special delivery, you'll be fine. Just throw on that. You're gonna see a significant difference in how many lobs go in. After you get that, I would go like a badge like needle threader. Also, you want your pass accuracy as high as possible because having your pass accuracy as high as possible you know what I'm saying? It's gonna make a significant difference. No matter if it's just a 60, I'm telling y'all, it will make a significant difference depending on your pass accuracy. It'll literally help a lot. And I'm gonna be honest, the playmaking gets you more than any category, hands down. Lobs get you more than anything. That's why I got 90K in that game. I literally will probably steal, even though y'all saw, I probably maxed out my badges doing that. And I'm still going to just go for lives because it gets you significantly more. So if you take anything from this video, that's why I went over to playmaking first when I was going over the, the actual method. You want to go for playmaking. It's just a fact. If you want to reach 99 fast way possible, go for playmaking. That's, it's, really, it's literally quite that simple. Can't really stress it enough. But yeah, it's pretty much that simple. Um, when it comes to the defensive, um, if you want to get as many bump steals as possible, you're going to want to throw on a badge like glove. Interceptor, Chase Down Artist, Anchor, Rebound Chaser. All these badges are very important. Glove and Interceptor get you more steals. Um, Chase Down Artist, Anchor gets you more blocks, better shot contest. Um, Challenger may be another good badge to throw on just to get you even better shot contest or more consistent shot contest on the perimeter. And then you have Rebound Chaser just to get as many rebounds as possible. Now, there might be even more badges to help you get more stuff because there's a lot of stuff in this game across all four categories that get you badge progress but don't i'm just giving you guys literally what you need to focus on when it comes to getting these said uh, types of builds as much xp as possible so there's going to be other things that get you badge progress in this game that you really wouldn't even really wouldn't affect it in other years but those are things that just from playing the game you'll get it you'll th do that stuff now Last but not least, I don't want to leave this out. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I said the settings, I said the method, but you want to make sure that your teammate grade is as high as possible every time. Depending on your teammate grade, that will mess up how much XP you get. Depending on if you win or lose, that will mess up how much XP. I'm telling you, on Hall of Fame, A plus grade with a win is probably about 20K alone. Those two are probably about 15 to 20K alone. I'm telling y'all. That will take you to a whole nother level, getting those things as high as possible every single time. So yeah, you might be missing out on a lot of XP if you're not taking that into play when you are going in these games and trying to go crazy. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much the end of this video. I didn't want this video to be as long. Usually when I do these 99 overall methods, they be very long, but I didn't really want this one to be long. I will do a much, much, much deeper deep dive later on in the year when we know a lot, lot more stuff. But I'm just giving you guys the basic main things for every category and the main thing that really contributes to reaching 99 overall in nba 2k23 but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video man it took a long time to make these videos i'm gonna have some stuff after me talking for the outro if you guys do want to stay for that but yeah that's gonna be pretty much the end of the video if you guys want more like the video subscribe turn on notifications share the video to anybody that would help comment down below to help the album all that good stuff out the way i've been trying to be as consistent on the backup i'm finna get back to streaming nba back on nfl is back on life is good but without further ado man it's your boy fits and out it man i came in by the i just painted and hot in my plaque got a bad bitch that's how she trying to drag me Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! So, for the glitch, all we do is pretty much go on YouTube and look up
NBA 2K23 dot 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 glitch for whatever glitch we looking to do. And we looked up VC glitch today. Last time we didn't do a VC glitch. Today we're going to be doing a VC glitch. And the first one to pop up is the one we're going to click and it's by Shoe. Loki, a OG of the 2K community. Let's hop into it. The last VC method that I posted got patched. I told y'all to hurry up and do uh, Let's look at this title because he said he already showed y'all. He put y'all on game already and y'all ain't do it fast enough. Okay, so that's Loki. That's Loki uh, a red flag right there because he's saying as soon as he posted, I guess it got patched. I don't know the full story on that. But in the title, hurry before it's patched 100K a day. That sounds like a W because I don't know if y'all been making bills this year. But it take about 450k a pop for one bill. I'm just saying. That's kind of crazy. Charles VC before it gets patched, but now it's patched. And now we all stuck with no VC, man. But with great power comes great responsibility. And I'm here. Loki, where the hell is this? This nigga on a roof? Is that the wreck? To help y'all get some VC, baby. Yes. This and this joint look move. hard from above. You got the Wildcats over there. Is this nigga playing Spider-Man? What is going on in this video? VC method on 2K23, man. Everything else is patched. We just probably gonna be stuck with this method the whole year. But this is the fastest way to get VC on this game. All right. So listen carefully what I got to say in this video. Oh, God. Oh, okay. We all right, y'all. We all right. It's okay. It's okay. Hit that like on this video. Bro, what is happening? Right Bro, I was so video, confused. You, boy, and hit that like on this video for this man eating this burrito, bro. I don't know what he doing, bro. Look at him. What? Huh? Nah, W what shoot for making a glitch video and it's not being eight minutes. <laughs> Can't cap. But look, y'all. The last video I posted, y'all said it was fake. It's bull crap. I hate when y'all be saying that, man, because I'm only here to try to help y'all boys out and try to help y'all get some VC. That, that Curry yeah, player card is hard. That I posted, it got patched. All right, we can no longer hang on the rim and get fouled out and stuff like that. So yeah. Nah, I heard about that. I did heard about that. I heard about that. So pretty much what people was doing, they was playing my career, and what they would do as soon as the game started. They would just go to the, they would just try to run to the rim and hang on the rim. Whether you got, you made it or missed it. They would just hang on the rim, get a tech. Then you would get, they would shoot the free throw. As soon as they get the ball back, they call in for the ball, hang on the rim, get the tech, you're ejected. So it's like the old foul out method where you get all that, you get like 500 plus VC a game. But you just did it with two dunks. That is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably like one of the fastest VC methods they had in a while. But yeah. Yeah, that's past y'all. All right, don't do that again. So this is what you're gonna do, man. Let's start off into the video. This is what 2K you're gonna nah. Do. You want 2K for y'all to be taxing and to patch a, a method that y'all put in the game. That's not even a glitch for real. I ain't gonna lie. That's not even a glitch for real. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be your advocate. That's not even a glitch for real. Going to the rim and just hanging on the rim. Y'all patching that. Getting VC all day, y'all patching that? Y'all got bills costing 450k? Y'all patching that? I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. I'm gonna go to the Dreamer I'm court, just saying. The Robert Mills court, and we gonna be at the Dreamer court. All okay. Right? So hold on, what's he gonna do? What he yes, gonna do? You are here at the Dreamer court. Hold on, what he gonna do? Yes, you are gonna want to play a game now. If you don't have this quest unlocked, just do the story modes and stuff like that. I have the whole thing unlocked, so I can play this as many times as I want. All right. Some of y'all have not completed the story mode, so you might have to do this other thing that I'm about to tell don't you. Don't you get like rep for these games? Okay, but anyways, you don't have to play no defense because they're by you know AIs. I can you just go score whenever I want from half court. But anyways, what you want to do this right nigga, now just cherry is pick and get double score team? efficiently and score fast in this game as quickly as possible. What this really took, it took like a good two to three minutes to finish. All right, two to three minutes. This and shit looked like really it took simple, longer, right? man. So I ain't gonna lie. Once you finish the game, as y'all see, I'm about to do right now. You know, I'm waiting right here. D -d 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 okay, I get the ball. Step back. Green bean. Come on, man. Y'all see in the top right, I shot 86%. The better you shoot, the more VC you get, man. Okay. So it depends on how good you shoot, how much VC you get. But look, I finished that game in two to three minutes, bro. All right, not even trying. I can watch a movie or whatever. But as y'all see, look at my VC earn, man. The VC that I got is three nine. 
Okay, so he said he played, he did this unlimited. He has this unlimited. Now, I have a build that I'm not like deep into the story, but I'm at the Palace Intrigue, and I can go play on this court. So I can do this. I can actually do this. So we're going to test this out. We don't need to see no more. We don't need to see no more. Let's hop into it. All right, so all we're going to do now is just go to the court. So pretty much, we're going to go to the Dreamer Court real quick, and we're going to try to do this. So I think it's right here. I think this is the court he was at, literal. So we're going to go to the Beast. I'm not finna rewatch it. I'm finna just do everything he said to do. So what we're gonna do is we just gonna go here and we're gonna play this game. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work because at the end of the day, all we doing is going to this court and just playing the game. So I'm not even for sure sure if this is a glitch for real, but which way am I supposed to be going? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we supposed to go this way and we're gonna see like some little, yeah, right here. But yeah, I don't know if this is really a glitch for it or really more of a method. Because really, at the end of the day, all you're doing is playing like part games and getting VC. Now, he kind of capped a little bit. I think what he really meant was you get a higher teammate grade. You get a higher teammate grade, you're going to get more VC per game. But I'm going to be honest with you. A pluses on here are pretty hard to get. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, let's hop into it. So... It's pretty much part of the J. Cole Crest. You can just come over here and start playing. Once you get to this part in the game, you can pretty much just play these unlimited. Uh, yeah. Now, for a lot of people, you're not going to be able to do this off rip. But at this point in the game, if you ain't played my career enough to get to this part, then I don't know what to tell you. So we're just going to play these games. That's big greens. And I'm going to pretty much play this game. I'm going to skip to the end. I'm going to show you guys if you get the VC or not. All right, so that's pretty much the end of the game, 21-0. Um, he said, shoot as good as you want, as good as possible. So I shot as good as possible. Like I said, you really want to try to get an A-plus teammate grade to get the most VC possible. I shot perfectly. I got as many rebounds as possible, but it just didn't let me get the grade. But I still got 400 VC, so that worked. Um, it didn't. It moved my, uh, my XP a little bit, actually, but... I guess you can also say this is kind of a rep glitch. I guess if you would, if this is a VC glitch. But yeah, now I can just play the next game. So if you want to do that, get 400 VC like every two minutes. I'm gonna be honest. How long was that recording? That took me three minutes, and I and I and, I, and I, that's four minutes of me recording. I ran all the way here, and I played it. Now after you play the game, you can just go right back to playing the game, and you can just keep doing that over and over. So I guess you can say that this one actually works. Now would you actually call this a glitch? In my opinion. Will I say it passed the test of being a glitch for real? No. And that's kind of an aspect of this series because a lot of people post videos as glitches and they're not glitches. This is not a glitch. This is really more of a method. But does it work as an actual VC sustaining method? Yes. Because this year, more than ever, I feel like people need more ways to get VC because 450,000 for a build is crazy. When I got this build to 98 overall, just to get them to 99, it was like 80,000 just to go from 98 to 99. So yes, yes, we need more stuff like this. I might even have to use this on a no money spit because yes, we need more stuff like this. But yeah, definitely confirmed works, but I don't know if this is really a glitch for real. 